I mean, you know, I mean, I, I like it when people think I'm cute, but I don't know. I, I feel like people should be liked for who they are, not for some physical trait that doesn't really say anything about you. I mean, you'd think that cons like this, you know, would be the perfect place for that. I mean, look at us all freaks and geeks together. <laughs> it's not really like that. Not all the time, but uh, it could be. Yeah, should be. I don't know, I just it's something inside me that reminded me of like when it's like to be vulnerable and take be taken advantage of. And yet like the challenge of that and the beauty of that. And it's just it's actually really heartfelt and brave. It's such a brave fucking show. Paul Booty Productions arranges large scale fantasies, sexy parties, fanfic scene recreations, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Fantasy fantasies, you know, like uh, uh, sexual fantasies. <clears throat> Not sword fighting, unless it's metaphorical and in the end someone gets laid. Such a powerful show, it's really emotional, evocative, hilarious. Very engrossing, get really connected. Yeah. Performance, yeah. Yeah, she's really entertaining and I just I want to be her friend. I think she's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's funny because it's a part of me that doesn't want to hide anymore. <clears throat> Sometimes I get tired of being the backdrop. Carrying everything, uh, holding things up. I guess I wish that people would just look at me, see me for who I am. Usually their eyes just pass right over me. I'm not even with eye contact. Sometimes I feel like I'm on my way to becoming invisible and my edges are already gone. Well, I, if you have a passion for something, you have the potential to get lost in it. 